In this video, I'll show you how to convert a video file to an audio file. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. So personally, I use Google Chrome, but you can use any you'd like and then go to a search engine. Once again, you can use any, I use Google. Now, what you want to do is go and search for a software called VLC Media Player. This software is completely free and we can go and use it to go and convert video to audio. Type it in VLC, then media then player just like so and go and search for that then it makes you go to the official website which is videoland.org here it is then you can go and tap on download vlc this app goes and works for windows mac linux and many more as well it's now going to finish downloading but it is important to note that every browser goes and downloads files differently but you can always go and find your downloads in your downloads folder in your file explorer on both mac and windows so go and open up your file explorer now and then here is a downloaded file here all you need to do is go and double click on it you'll probably go and get a windows security pop-up and then just follow the installer it's super easy then once you've gone and installed it, we now need to go and open it up if it doesn't open automatically. So I'm gonna go and open up VLC now. I already have it installed, which is why I sort of skipped that part. So as you can see, it's now gone and opened up. Now what you need to do is go to the top left of the navigation bar and go and tap on media. Then go down to convert slash save like so. So then what we need to do is go and open up the media which you want to go and convert. So in this case, I've got it on my desktop. So I'm gonna go and tap on add just like so, and then go and find the video which is on my desktop just here, go and tap on it. Then I'm gonna go and tap on open and there it is. And then what you need to do is go and tap on convert slash save like this. And then it's gonna go and give us a few more settings. So firstly, you shouldn't need to change the source because you've already selected that. Make sure convert is selected and then you can go and choose the profile. By default, mine is already selected MP3, but if it doesn't, you may need to go and scroll down this list here. Um, but yeah, you could also could have um, an FLAC file, a CD file, but MP3 is the most universal one. And then all you need to do is choose the destination. So I'm gonna go and tap on browse and I'm gonna go and put this on my desktop. I'm going to name this finished and then I'm just gonna add dot MP3 as well, just to make sure that it is an actual MP3 and then go and tap save like so. So yeah, I'd recommend adding dot MP3 to the end of the file name. Then once you finish, go and press on start like so, and then it's gonna go and start converting it. And as you can see, you sort of quickly move across there. And this is because the video is only about 20 seconds. And there it is. As you can see, I've now got a file called finished. I'll just drag these out to zoom in on this. These are exactly the same. As you can see, 21 seconds. And the MP3 file is also 21 seconds as well. So I can go and double tap on it like so. And then it's going to go and start playing. Once this opens up, I can then go and listen to it back and they're exactly the same.